Hi folks, this is Whale Shark. In this video, I want to talk a little bit about the eye condition that I have and the Foundation Fighting Blindness. Um, FFB.com is the Foundation Fighting Blindness website, and each year they have a fundraising charity walk called the vision walk and it's all across the united states it may even be in, in some other countries the foundation fighting blindness looks to generate money to fund research into retinal degenerative diseases um, currently um, i have a disease called retinitis pigmentosa and it has no cure, it has no treatment. Um, but through the funding of the Foundation Fighting Blindness, they are finding or researching steps that could potentially um, help slow down the progress of this disease and or potentially hopefully find a cure for it. Other eye conditions that they do research on is age-related macular degeneration, macular degeneration, Stargard syndrome, Usher syndrome. Usher syndrome is a eye condition, but it also involves hearing loss. So it's retinitis pigmentosa with hearing loss. I'm doing this video to ask for donations to a team that I set up for the Philadelphia Vision Walk that is coming up on October 7th, 2023. I am going to have that link below. If you are able to donate any amount, no amount is too small, um, please do so. It will be much, much appreciated. And I am also going to link the Foundation Fighting Blindness site down below if you're interested in learning more about the particular eye condition I have or any other ones that they list below or just blindness in general. It is a wild journey going through what I am going through. Um, generally speaking, I'm upbeat about it. I don't, um, I do have some down days or struggle days, but for the most part, I accept what's going on and um, just enjoy the ride, so to speak. I mean, it's my journey, no one else's. And, um, you know, you have to, everybody has their own jersey. Like, I'm not alone. Other people have their things. And I just go about it and do it, learn what I can, make adjustments, and do things like that. If you have any questions about um, my particular um, problem, you can let me know in the comments down below. I've discussed this on a couple different videos um, on my channel about how I play some of the games. Um, just a quick overview, over the last 10 years, I lost, um, or not lost, I turned in my driver's license. I do not drive anymore, have not driven in about 10 years. Um, and it was a thing I just was worried about hurting myself or somebody else. It, it, once I crossed that line of, well, I shouldn't be driving, I just turned it in. Um, but more recently, I've lost the ability to see a lot of different um, color. Like I can see, some, um, but for the most part, I can just see differences between two colors next to each other, but I am not always able to tell what it is, and it's affected by light, too. If it's in a dim or um, poorly lit area, I have more trouble seeing what that is, but then if it's too bright, I also have a problem seeing it because I get washed out. So there's like a premium best light scenario, and that doesn't happen too terribly much. The main goal of this video is just to see if I can generate a few dollars for the donation to the Foundation Fighting Blindness. I have my own team set up at another walk and um, have generated some money and have made my own donations. But I set up this team just to see if I can generate any funding through YouTube. You can check out the site. Um, I am not affiliated with the Foundation Fighting Blindness or the Vision Walk other than I volunteer and I participate in it. That's all I am as a participant. Um, I don't work for them or anything. I do, don't get anything out of this other than um, my main goal is to try to generate money so they find um, treatments and cures so people don't have to go through 
what I have gone through and um, hopefully they can just say you have this condition and um, here's the treatment plan versus when I was diagnosed it was more or less um, yeah you have this condition here's a pamphlet websites didn't exist so we couldn't even look the stuff up um, you can contact this group to get more materials but that was kind of it now we can at least talk to people and find um, people of similar situations and find groups that you can talk to and that's that's a big big help and just having the information again when I was diagnosed there were we were handed a couple pamphlets and told to call or write a letter to um, the Foundation Fighting Blindness is one of the groups we were told to contact. And then they sent more information. We've done some research and studying, um, but it, you know, isn't always easy to hear those diagnoses. Like there is no treatment and there's really nothing we can do. And we don't know how fast this is gonna progress. My progression has been a little bit slower or a normal progression um, but other people are not quite as fortunate as I have been to where they, they lose their sights in the teens 20s and um, I'm a bit over 40 now and I still have some vision that's how I'm able to play some video games um, but I don't play as many as I used to because of the vision loss and the different um, things I deal with as far as light, dark issues. Um, I have depth perception, uh, perception problems and other things like that. I once had 20-20 vision and I was never able to see at night. That was a complaint, but they couldn't see anything um, to diagnose that. They just thought my eyes took a while to adjust at night, but I could really never see at night. I have never driven at night and I walk with a flashlight that it doesn't really help help too much but over the next um, few months I am going to be going through cane training to learn to use the white cane um, right now I get by but I just walk really slow you know I'm adapting I'm new to this so again this is my journey and what I have to do to get by and keep independent and um, any feedback that you want to give me or um, you know, if you know somebody going through the same stuff, I mean, you can talk to them about it. I'm willing to talk to anybody about this stuff. Um, it wasn't something I discussed earlier. I just told people I was night blind. That's all the people, all, a lot of family and friends knew. Um, my immediate, uh, media family knew everything, but, um, now I'm becoming or trying to be a little bit more of an advocate to this and, um, I sympathize with other people that have any type of um, issue, um, whether it is like a disability or any other type of issue. I mean, that's all we can do is um, try to understand what somebody's going through and give a little bit of compassion and sympathy to the people. Um, but it doesn't have to be the main topic of things. Um, I've discussed this several times in this channel, but I just try to, um, as I get new viewers and things I just want to keep mentioning that I do have a um, vision um, problem please hit that like and subscribe button and definitely if you're able to hit the link um, down below and go to my team vision walk page and if you're able to please make a donation if you're not able to don't worry about it just hit the like and subscribe here get this out there a little bit for more other people to see it maybe other people can um donate um, i appreciate your time watching this video and i will catch you all on the next one